Welcome back to The Source, I'm Natalie Fee and today I am joined by the legendary saxophonist and all-round jazz and funk legend, Mr Pee Wee Ellis. Hello there. Hello there. Hello, good to have you on the show. My pleasure. Oh, thank you. And of course, BBC Radio 6 DJ, Radio 2 GJ and fun-loving criminals frontman and guitarist, of course. Let's not forget that bit, Mr and, Huey Morgan. And Mr Ellis' side man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this weekend. So this weekend we are talking about the Bristol International Jazz and Blues Festival. So that's why I've got these two lovely gentlemen here with me today. Now, last year, Colston Hall saw 8,000 people descend on the venue for an amazing weekend of blues, swing, jazz. And it's happening again this weekend, starting today. And these guys have got an event happening on the Sunday, haven't you? So maybe I'll talk to you about that. First of all, tell me what's happening on Sunday at the Jazz and Blues Festival. On Sunday, myself and Huey uh, opening for Dr. John. This is gonna be an amazing event. Mm -hmm. we're, gonna, we're gonna funk it up and let Dr. John Amazing. do his thing. <laughs> so is it like a bit of a New Orleans, is it the whole day dedicated to New Orleans, New like Orleans takeover? New Orleans uh, is, is the thing, and Dr. John is the king of New Orleans. Oh, wow. Like, so incredible to have him in Bristol and yourselves as well. I mean, you guys live in Froome, so it's not such a, yeah. a journey for you guys, but uh, amazing to, ha to have him, to have <laughs> him there. Nola, it's a little bit, yeah, but Dr. John, I mean, like you said, it's, it's Dr. John, is, is, he's very, he's got his gris gris on, right? Yeah. So he doesn't really have to travel in airplanes like normal people. He just kind of goes, hmm, snaps his fingers and he's oh, there. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so have you developed that yet? No, 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 he, I, don't, I don't practice voodoo, but, <laughs> yeah. but he does. I mean, yeah. he's very, he snaps his fingers, he yeah. transcends space I wanna and time. That. I want to learn that. I'm practicing hard. So how did how did you? I can make it to Froome. <laughs> so how did you um, get involved in the Bristol International Jazz and Blues Festival and and this year be performing with Mr. Ellis? Well, well last year I went as a guest at the the, the dinner and I, I saw Mr. Ellis and Mr. Mr. Wesley uh, and I went up to say hello to him because obviously you know when you see people of legendary status you want to say hello to them and these guys were really cool with me and they they had a little, a little time for me and I thought that was really nice and. Uh, and I, you know, we got to be talking, and uh, he asked me to come up and play with him on this stage. Not too long after that, nice. and it's it's like you said before, it's 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 not an easy thing for uh, to go up and play with a band that plays with Mr. Pee Wee Ellis because Mr. Pee Wee Ellis just wrote the book <laughs> on funk and soul and all that stuff. I mean, he was in the J.B. Horns. I mean, he he was as funky, probably funkier than than James Brown because he couldn't move around as fast as James Brown because he had the big saxophone. Yeah. <laughs> That's the reason. That's the reason. That's the reason. Yeah. Dance, dance really good, but he had the saxophone in there, so he couldn't dance because he had the sax. <laughs> but to get on stage, it was uh, you know, with him was one of those things where I think we had a rehearsal in my backyard. You came over to visit, yeah. and I said, "So what are we going to do tomorrow?" He goes, "I'll tell you what key we're in. Don't worry." And I was like, "Okay." Wow. And that was one of those things where you know you're playing with cats, as yeah. we say. You know, you're playing with with cats that know what they're doing. When they just said, "We'll tell you what key we're in." Don't yeah. worry about it. It must be really exciting for you because obviously you've got an amazing musical career behind you, but great to be doing things now that yeah. are maybe taking you out of your comfort zone. Yeah, I mean, you could sell a million records and it doesn't mean that you're a good musician. I mean, look at the music out today. Mm. But I did, I did, I did read, read, <laughs> yeah. your, read your reviews about the Brit suggestions. A lot of it is, is true that I speak, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's one of those things, but being a musician is a different thing. A lot of people think of Fallen Criminals as maybe a rap group and then we weren't, we weren't really musicians, but then if you watch uh, any of our, our live videos, like DVDs or something, you realize that there are three guys that actually play in instruments. One mm. guy, Fast, who's my, my partner, plays like 12 instruments. Wow. I only played guitar and did vocals, so there's a lot of instrumentation going on, and with that we had to learn how to play all these different styles, mm. and with that comes another discipline of knowing when not to play, especially as a guitar player in a band where guys are playing really tightly. So yeah. for me, it was a steep learning curve, and we did this gig here that was amazing. I had a great so time. So when, when we say here, do you mean here on stage? On this stage, so right we're, here. we're yeah. at the cheese and grain in Froome, because <laughs> yeah. these two lovely gentlemen live in Froome, so I came here to Yeah, literally them. right where Mr. Ellis's foot is, I was standing. <laughs> yeah, that foot. <laughs> that foot right there. And it was one of those things where the cats were really on it, and they were gracious to me, and they, you know, I, I kind of, you know, was laying back a little bit, and then Mr. Ellis kind of like dropped me in the deep end, and I swam. Yeah, and it was, he was like, okay, and we did That's a couple good. gigs at, at Ronnie Scott's in London together recently, and nice. that was really cool too. And uh, it was one of those things where I really, 
couldn't think of a better place to be than playing with guys like this and being, you know, asked to play again. Yeah, you know? yeah, exciting. Mm, and who's the rival? <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, you're one of the patrons of the Bristol Jazz and Blues Festival. Yes, and I think it's I in am. its third year. So have you played every year? Yes. Yeah, brilliant. Well, no. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And do you know some of the other things that are happening? Any, have you got any highlights of things that you'd like to go and see this weekend? Uh, I'm playing with Jimmy uh, Eilert, who uh, put together a big band of uh, Louis Armstrong music. Oh, OK, yeah. So I'm doing that with him. Is that on the Saturday? Yes, oh, Sunday. On the Sunday as well. Yeah, uh, Saturday I'm doing a workshop. Ah, because yeah, there's over 40 events and workshops and concerts. Yeah. It's huge, isn't it? It's huge. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. So I'm expecting about 40 kids. Wow, so it's a children's workshop? This is a workshop for people to play instruments. Yeah. At our age, everybody's a I kid. Think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I'd like to come along to that one. Uh, Sunday, yeah. Sunday, Hill and I are opening for Dr. John. Yeah. Who's the. Uh, yeah, New Orleans element. Yeah, yeah. I think that's going to be it's going to be an incredible day. And have you played at Colson Hall before? Is that a venue uh, no, that you've the, played the in? No, the Criminals never played there before, yeah. so it'll be new for me. Uh, and you played at Harborside, was it? Yeah, we played at Harborside Festival? before. We played at the Grillstock Festival. Yeah. That's where we did the standing uh, okay, yeah. And uh, my, my little boy actually pulled the, the power of the festival out <laughs> within five minutes of being at the festival. Really? I love it that it was he that just walked up to the, He walked up to the most important plug and just pulled it out. And everything <laughs> was, yeah. and <laughs> Amazing. He's my well, boy. You can That's catch these. Is he going to be there? Is he going to be there on Sunday? Well, we, well, if this does, if you don't see us play, probably yeah. Because yeah, probably quiet, pull the plug out. You know what's happened. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If all cool. you hear is saxophone and drums. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Well, they are playing this weekend at the Colston Hall on Sunday, so come and check that out. Now then, we're going to move into some uh, quick fire questions here. Can I give you the microphone there? Sure. You can take the first one if you can hold it. No, okay, no, okay. I've got one. You can. Right, uh, okay, right. Right, so I thought I'd, um, given that these are both incredible musicians, I thought I'd start with uh, some song, song questions, questions in songs, perhaps unanswerable, um, I don't know. So let's start off. Oh, and if you guess, if you guess the artist, mm -hmm. um, you can get a bonus point. Oh, really? Great. Yeah. Where can okay. I redeem those? Uh, you can redeem them at uh, <laughs> the uh, Bristol Jazz and Blues Festival on Sunday. All right, cool. In, so in the, <laughs> in the bar. Free drinks for you. OK. Yeah. OK, then. So uh, first question uh, for you, Hugh. Um, where do you go to, my lovely, when you're alone in your bed? Oh, I don't know that one. I should, but should I, I sing it to you? Yeah. Um, this one works. Okay. Yeah, so. It's a habit, isn't it? It's well, a habit, yeah. yeah. It, I, uh, so yeah. it's something like, Where do you go to, my lovely, when you're alone in your bed? Do you know that one? No. Well, you know, maybe it's like it's my dad's song from like the seventies. No, no, no. It's like way older than that. Oh. Okay, so, but, but you can answer the question. Wow, that means like us. Then. You can. Uh, his <laughs> name. His name that. is Peter Sarsted. Really? That, yeah. Yo, that was good. That was, my, that was. That's some trivia should, right you there. You should. You should play that. Play that on your. You can. You can have that one for a, <laughs> a throwback. I mean, the way you said it, saying it, we sold it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Steady. Uh, so, so uh, the, to answer the question, where do you go to, my lovely, when you're alone in your bed? It beats the <laughs> out of me. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's asleep. He doesn't know. No, yeah, I, no I really okay. don't know the song. Sorry. No, no, no. But you can answer the question. Oh, where the do I go to? Sleep? Yeah. Like, what, what? When you're alone in your bed, where do your thoughts go? Uh. Actually, I, you know, I think about my family and how lucky I am having you know, a cool family. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice things to go to sleep thinking yeah. of. Okay. You got to think about the good things. You yeah, know? okay. Well, um, I'll give you, the, you know, you're not going to get a bonus point, okay, but you know, at least you answered the question. Uh. <laughs> okay, so uh, maybe I'll go for this one for you. You can hold this one. Now, um, oh, nice. this, this is for you. It's a good weight, isn't it? Can I have this? Yeah, <laughs> no, unless you're going to take my job. Uh, Fortunately, uh, so, oh, yeah. uh, so um, war. Huh. Oh, what is it good for? for? That's your question. Absolutely nothing. Say it again. What is it good for? Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. What? Say it again. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Okay, um, bonus point, who's it by? War. Yeah. <laughs> Can you answer who's it by? Do you know? Do you know who wrote it? Uh, I do. Yeah? yeah? You're gonna steal the bonus point. Is he gonna steal, he's gonna steal it off on me. Ellis yeah, go on then. Yeah, you can give it to him. Edwin Star. I know that. Okay. <laughs> Half I a point. Knew that. Half a point. Of course he did. Of course he did. Right. Okay. I'm going to pass it back then. Okay. Um, you can choose a. Um, a pina colada, a virgin pina colada. I got to play that. later. 
Okay, have you got to play that? Um, a, a very, very deep question for you here. Um, who let the dogs out? <laughs> you know, the funniest thing about that is that Fast used to introduce me on stage to that song. It's like, ladies and gentlemen, Huey, who let the dogs out? Because I did a pet show and he thought it was funny. Oh, really? And he used to take the mick out of me, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Exactly. Who? Do you know who wrote it? Uh, I wouldn't have known. Mm, yes, the something gang. Uh, something men. Oh, uh, the. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Baja men. The Baja men. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was thinking, know. I had I was to look that Baja. I had, I had to look that one up. I had to look that one up. Okay. Oh, yeah, I was, I, that's a song that's usually. I'm gonna, that, that, they crop my onions with that one a lot. I did they? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you this one. Um, is there life on Mars? There must be. Do you reckon? I reckon. Yeah. Well, why not? Yeah, I reckon too. They're finding yeah. little bits now, aren't they? Yeah. Little wiggly things. Well, three-dimensional life is just something that we could perceive, really. Could, yeah. There could be life in another dimension, in the four dimensions, right here while we're going about our business. Yeah. There could be another dimension completely going about its business. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay. Well, let me let's 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 move Science. on to uh, let's move on to another one. Um, uh, well, let's go with this one. Where were you when you were getting high? <laughs> Noel Gallagher. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I, know well the, I don't know the next lyric. That's okay. But I used to sing that like on. Someday uh, you yeah, will find me. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, good song. Yeah. yeah. So where were you? Give me, give me a where, place. I was usually in the back. Okay. I was in the well, back. Say no more. You were in the back. In the back by the bathrooms. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, right then. Um, so um, here's a, here's one for you. Um, how will I know if he really loves me? Oh. Whitney Houston jams out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, oof. I don't know. Um, how, how would you know if he really loves you? I smell his breath. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, is that, can I, can I I'll be able to smell the love, the love hormones. The yeah. love hormones will be in his breath. Okay, I heard it here. That's how I'm going to know. Okay, I've got one for you. Um, okay. How are we going to vote them out? How are we going to get them out when the wing takes got to locked up? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll uh, Real question, how are we going to vote them out? Uh, well, we all got together, get out. You know, we got to get together. Yeah, good. Thank you. He knows that one. Okay. <laughs> you would, Do I get PRS You would hope so. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, okay, so we're being told here that it's time to go. Um, they got a roller disco happening. They've got a roller disco happening here at the Cheese and Grain. We, we, can't, get... stand if, we can't stand and mess that up for the kids, the chidgen and the roller disco people. So, that dude's in tights. Look, yeah. get the camera shot of that. Okay, you can have a little look. There's somebody in tights <laughs> no, down there. No, you can away to somebody ready in for tights. The, ready for the roller disco. Um, <laughs> Okay, well, there you go. We had some fantastic questions. Uh, well, some maybe not so fantastic questions, <laughs> but some good answers. Iffy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more quickly for you. One more quickly for you. Um, civilization, are we really civilized? Yes or no? Absolutely not. You see how we behave? That's not the answer to the lyric, but it's, yeah. it's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Do you know who it's from? Last bonus question. No. Arrested Development. Oh, okay. Uh, AD, yeah, they're yeah, good yeah, band. They're a good band. There's a lot of lyrics in that song. Yes. Um, well, thank you both so much for being on The Source. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much, Mr. You're so Ellis. welcome. Thank you. Lovely to meet you and uh, yourself, you, Morgan. Thank you very thank much. You. Okay, come and see them at the Colston Hall this weekend at the Bristol International Jazz and Blues Festival. See his <laughs> jazz hands. Listen to him playing the sax. It's going to be amazing. And stay tuned. Don't forget to tune into The Source tomorrow when we'll be looking at music for Fridays and what's happening here in Bristol. Thanks for watching.